Let's talk about the the runner on second rule because you know this year is the the first year that they're using it through the full 162. I know they said they're not going to use it in the postseason, but uh, they're using it in the regular season like they did with the experiment last year. And they're not using the universal DH this year, which I think is ridiculous, which I'm about to get to right now. So MLB's whole thing is that they want to shorten games. And I guess they want to bring more casual fans in or, you know, they want to make sure people don't stop watching whatever the people that are watching right now. Um, I, I believe all the baseball fans that are watching right now uh, or that are fans right now are all diehards. I think there's millions of diehard baseball fans. Uh, unfortunately, baseball doesn't have a casual fan like basketball or football has. And uh, yeah, baseball just doesn't have that casual fan. So I think baseball's whole thing is that they want to bring more casual fans in, which I want. I think every baseball fan wants that. Uh, the You know, the commissioner's office wants that. But the runner on second rule is dumb to me. I, I think that they, they want to shorten games. If you're sitting down for a baseball game, if you're turning on a baseball game, at least from the start, I'm saying, at least from the start, you know that you're going to be sitting down to watch a long game. Like, it's not going to be a quick two-hour and 15-minute game like basketball is. Like, you know you're going to sit down for a slow-paced uh, three-hour baseball game, unless it's a, a pitcher's duel and it's a gem and it's, a, you know, a two-hour to two-hour-and-a-half game. But for the most part, it's going to be close to three hours. Um, the runner on second rule is just, is just dumb to me. I mean, I, I get it. Like, I guess each side, it's not like uh, one particular side uh, has an advantage. Like, you know, the Braves and the Phillies both got – uh, the runner on second rule today, so it's like it's even. I get it; it's an even playing field. But it's just dumb to me. I, I think it's a it's a, it's a dumb thing to uh, incorporate. I don't understand why they have that, but they don't have the universal DH. Like the universal DH makes sense. You're uh, you're you're limiting pitchers' injuries and you're creating more offense, which you want to create uh, as MLB. You want to create that product to entice more people to watch and. You know, you want to create more offense. That makes sense to have the universal DH. Um, and it would make sense to have it the universal way, to, to have it the National League and the American League because then it's, I mean, why, why would why would you ever have it in a, one league and not have it in the other anyway? It's, I mean, if you ever think about that, it's, it's stupid. It's dumb. It doesn't really make any sense. Um, so for, just it, it's just stupid to me. I, I just had to bring that up today because I, I realized that, that they still had the runner on second rule, but they're not having the universal DH Makes absolutely no sense. Get rid of the runner on second rule after this year. Bring in the universal DH. It makes sense. MLB, you brought in Griffey. You brought in uh, Theo Epstein in the commissioner's office. Make the right moves. Don't be stupid, please. This was Baseball Talk.